Five Phases of Learning a Van Hills Theory. This is an article written by myself when I first took the class of teaching and learning of mathematics at the University of Science Malaysia in Penang. Van Hill believed that cognitive progress in geometry can be expedited by means of instruction. He stated that for a student to master at one particular level, then proceed to another level, can be materialized through instruction rather than other factors such as age and maturity. The five phases of learning outlined by Van Hill serve as a guidance for teachers to make students to progress from one level to another. Nevertheless, these procedures definitely demand a lot of time. At the first phase, known as inquiry, students are presented with a material followed by discovering the structure. Initially, the teacher could just use a simple and well-known language when introducing such material to the students. At this stage, a teacher may say, This is a rhombus. Construct some rhombi in your paper. The second phase of learning is identified as guided orientation. A teacher may give tasks to the students so that they can explore the implicit relationship. The teacher can conduct guided hands-on activities where the students can identify the concept. Here, the relations belong to the concept are discovered and later discussed. A teacher may question the students about what are the consequences that follow when folding the rhombus along the diagonals. Next, the explicitation phase is where the students express their opinions on what they have acquired, so in this case, relations. It is vital for teachers to introduce new terminologies and encourage the students to use them once they become familiar with the concept. To illustrate, a teacher may say that the diagonals lie along the symmetry and there are two lines of symmetry. Furthermore, the angles are congruent and the diagonals act as the internal bisector of the vertex angles. Moreover, the free orientation phase allows the students to deal with more challenging tasks independently. This way, students will become more proficient besides developing understanding of relationship in many situations. For example, a teacher may ask them how to draw a complete rhombus when given only two of its side, as well as other problems which the students have not learnt a fixed procedure. Finally, the integration phase requires the students to summarise the material learnt as well as the goal. Additionally, the teacher should share the overview of the material or topic and avoid bringing in a new one. As an example, a teacher may provide a summary of the material learnt and request the students to jot it down in their notebooks and finish up the exercises as homework.